After 45 years without closure, a local family now has answers. The Alamance County Sheriff's Office says it now knows who killed Tammy Sue Aldridge. The then 20 year old was killed during summer break from college. WFMY News News Amber Lake learned how investigators finally made their breakthrough. Closure is going to be different for each of us. After over four decades without answers. Every family should have closure. A cold case can be laid to rest. This is a sad day and sort of a glad day. 20-year-old Tammy Sue Aldridge was found strangled to death on July 3, 1979. Investigators say they finally know who did it. Gary left from boy. Aldridge went for a jog here on Jim Barnwell Road back on June 30th, 1979. It was something that she was known to do frequently. It wasn't until days later that her body was located right here on Highway 54. Investigators believe that she died about an hour before she was located. During her captivity, she was allowed to call home twice. On Sunday night, the day after she was kidnapped, and again the following Monday night. This was the last time any member of her family would hear from her. Her cause of death was ruled as strangulation. It wasn't until the creation of genealogy that helped solve this case over 40 years later. Due to the development of modern day technology relating to DNA. This officer was able to take the uh, spermatosis sample found on Tammy Sue Ulrich and able to submit it for further investigation. The test came back a match to Lefram Boy, bringing closure to this case. I'm Tammy's uncle, but speaking of closure, it's going to be different for each of us individually. <clears throat> but we want to thank you for what you've done. Investigators also informed us that the suspect was actually arrested three months after the body of Aldridge was found. Lefram Boyce spent a few years behind bars for kidnapping in that unrelated case and imprisonating a police officer.